William Whiskeyball. I'm Daniel. And in our hands, we have a hard to open gift from Zach and Lindsay Kier, Magnificent Bastards. Wait, wait, oh, they might have given a phonetic pronunciation on the bottle. I just saw a parentheses thing. Uh, Kier, Kier. Zach and Lindsay Kier. Yeah. Zach and Lindsay Kier, you magnificent bastards. So we were right. Yeah, the last time we did it. Yesterday's shoot. All right. We've done these guys before. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Grand Traverse Distillery. Yes. In Michigander. A peated oh, rye. Understand. Isles of rye. Okay. Last time we did this, we did a peated rye. And what it was was rye, and then the barley they put in the whiskey was peated. Okay. This one is called Isles of rye, yeah. but it says 100% straight, straight rye. rye. So the question is, mm -hmm. and I couldn't find an answer to this, what makes this one, is it peated? Did you smell? It, it, or why, what makes it Isles of oh, rye? Is it just rye? No, there's, there's something going on. It's definitely not, so they did some type of smoking. Either that or it is an incredibly charred quality from that barrel, but I think there's some smoked element to the, to the rye. To me, it feels more like barrel char than smoke, you but think? it's, yeah, it's, but it's, it's so light. No, light? I'm saying if it's, it's smoke. I'm saying if it's smoke, it's so light. If it's barrel, it's, it's there. It's so heavy, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying why call it Isles and, and a reference to the re releases Isles of this bottle. Because before it was Isle of Rye, I mm -hmm. think, that we reviewed. Because it's definitely a char quality that's almost going so far into a barrel char that it's turning into a smoke. I, I'm tasting smoke. Oh, so smoked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's very much ashy, back-end ash. Mm -hmm. Not like an earthy smoke yeah. campfire. Oh, yeah, there's smoke. Which is why we're thinking it's possibly barrel char, because it's that but, kind of ashy charcoal quality. As a rye. So it has the botanicals, and mm -hmm. it has the herbal quality of a rye, and yeah. it has that sort of sort of spicy mm -hmm. molasses. Yeah. Um, but then it has this ash mm. finish. No, I like it. Uh, it. It has the sweet character. It has the smoke character. They're nicely balanced against each other. It has this really thick mouthfeel. It I is said it. very oily, very dense. Fifty percent, nice. We've, um, you know, recently what I'm proud of is we've gotten enough uh, people w hanging out and watching mm -hmm. that the people making these weird whiskeys have been finding us or or already watching. Yeah. And we're getting a lot more comments from the people who made the whiskey. Oh, nice. On their video saying, mm -hmm. "Hey, I'm actually the person who made it." And here's the story. Oh, cool. And uh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. That's cool. And there's almost, you know what? It's, uh, this is going to confuse people. Mm. So, in Lagavulin, mm -hmm. there's this mint character. Yeah, at the very, very end of the palate. Yeah. It's kind of like the way. Not in the nose. The way that the mint leaves you. That maybe, cool. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. getting the same kind of experience on the tail end of this. Kind of that mint, clean, fresh. I wonder if mm. they aged it in peated barrels, and uh, that's where the smoke's coming that from. That could be a hundred percent rye aged in peated barrels. That could be because that would explain so the they didn't combo of peated they didn't necessarily grain. smoke the rye. We don't know, but that flavor that where the ash feels like it's at the end, mm. we've noticed that mm. in our um, Isla barrel mm -hmm. aging bourbons and our Isla barrel stuff, that it feels like the smoke comes in at the very end of the story. Yeah. Either way, I think it's really nicely done. It's very good. Especially if you like smoky whiskeys. Yeah, yeah. It, this is, no faults, really solid yeah. presentation. If I was there, I would absolutely, I'm not normally the one who goes to the distillery and orders the rye, mm -hmm. but I would drink this oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, it, I think if you just like smoky whiskeys in general, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think the peat smoke and all that stuff in, in Scotland, they mastered that a long, long time ago. I think in the States... It's kind of hit or miss. Mm -hmm. When it hits, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah. But there's more misses in this. Smoking. There's way more over-dominating. Yeah, and, there's more misses yeah. that I'm comfortable with in the current state of American whiskey making. Yeah. Um, this, though, I think they nailed it. It's yeah. a really nice balancing act. Um, the more I go back to it, the more the smoke, uh, it creeps up more into the forefront. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think that's lingering in the oils. So I don't think... The smoke is coming to the top in the whiskey. You think it's building? I think what the smoke lives in the tail finish oils. Mm -hmm. And every time you pour into it, you're waking that back up again. It's just stacking, kind of like mm -hmm. a, the hotness of a salsa. Yeah. Every time you go back, you just... Yeah. Yeah. 
But you mm, can't, you can't not go back. You can't not go back. Salsa. Yeah. I want Mexican food for lunch. You like the Mexican mm. food? I don't know. I'm feeling, I gotta go light. I gotta go light. It's mm. hot. It it's is a hot, hot day. It's always hot in this joint. Okay. Robert Purvis, imagine doing a, supr a supply run like they do on The Walking Dead and you stumble upon this stockpile. Right. <laughs> so I've thought about that. So yeah. we've talked about this as our location if the apocalypse happens. Yeah. And then we partner with Balcones' ta fireproof tower you know, in Waco, and that's like, we have a chain mm -hmm. of locations. Next one's Iron Root, right? We just have distilleries we work our way through. Right. No, so it's, it's, if you landed here, it's and, bartering. and yeah. we had somehow all died, we probably killed each other well, off, let's like be it. honest. Well, like <laughs> but I won though. <laughs> there's, but, there's, I, but I won though. No, because there's enough people on this property who would get in a final dying shot that like, no. you died last, but you still died. But I won. And it's, well, no, it's like Walking Dead, be, everyone dies the ev all the time. I want to be the anti-hero. Mm. The one that be like, God. You want to be the one that shows God. up with the baseball bat? Yeah, and, the one that guy's like, man, I don't know about that guy, but God damn, if he doesn't come through. <laughs> <laughs> She's always there when you need her. That's the then, dude on the motorcycle in uh, Walking yeah, Dead. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, no, but imagine walking in, you finally break in, mm -hmm. and you get to here, and you're like, I think I've made it. And you get into the town and you're like, whoa, this is nice, you know? Mm. That's kind of cool. And then you're like, what the hell is that over there? Mm. And you get in and you're like. So what I, okay. just, heard you, what I just heard you say mm -hmm. is going to be very tricky because it's solid rock. Mm -hmm. We have to do like a trench. Yeah. Not a moat. We're not going to fill it with water. It's a pain in the ass. It's no, going to no, be mosquitoes. No, no. But we have thing. a trench, so we're going to have to bar that off. Well, no, no, no. That's the, uh, that's the, the trench that we... Leap funnel them into. Oh, because it makes it easier to like yeah. dip down into them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You save your ammo, conserve your ammo. Right. You make them more concentrated in a smaller area. Um, we can dump like fire. So our set trench them all in fire. circles around and breaks into the sides of the existing trench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the basically it's um, for the path of least resistance. Yeah. They get funneled into there. I like that. And then we can just burn them. Yeah. Because yeah, it's, it's all stone. It's all rock. Yeah. yeah. No. You got I like that. Yeah. Done. Whiskey channel. <laughs> Ryan Glenapp, am I the only one that gets uncomfortable when Daniel doesn't wear a black t-shirt? Yeah, I, I for, get uncomfortable. For a whole series, I wore the work shirt, yeah. and people are... The, so here's the weirdest thing. Mm -hmm. I'll be in public, yeah. and like, I <laughs> so this was a weird one. I was at Schlitterbahn. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on the bus that transfers between yeah. in just a swimsuit and flip-flops. Mm -hmm. Because you're swimming. Yeah, Schlitterbahn, yeah. Yeah, I'm a Schlitterbahn. You so. wear jeans and a black t-shirt. Yeah, I don't wear jeans and a black t-shirt at Schlitterbahn. Yeah. So no shirt, just my swim shorts, yeah. my flip flops with uh, my, the bag that I'm carrying of like all of our, like you know, my phone, all this stuff, you know, mm -hmm. we have to carry around with us. And uh, I, we sit down like this far across from some guy and Cash and Jackson sitting next to me and it's quiet for, <laughs> we start driving and then the guy, it's not one that turns in between, yeah. you know? Yeah. That, so the guy and I are like, like this, the guy and I are like this periodically. <laughs> you know, so he's, and so, he's getting a good view. Yeah, all <laughs> and then and I was like, uh, he's like, so uh, are you whiskey vault? Do you know anything? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, he was super nice. And actually, hold on, hold on. We gotta be honest. We gotta be yeah. accurate with the story. Yeah. You no shirt, swimsuit. Yeah. Sandals. You were wearing the medallion. Yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> absolutely. I mean, I nearly drowned me twice in the lazy river. <laughs> But it was worth it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, no, but actually we left that one and Jackson was like, I feel like that was actually a better conversation than you normally have with, with people who recognize you. Like, you talked about various things and yeah. didn't just only like, oh, yeah. you're great, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, he was nice. And, yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to talk about if people see you without a shirt? Nothing. I want them to be like, hey, it's nice to meet you. Thank you, you're welcome. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, people, they're very cool, whatever they... Yeah, yeah, no, when we hang out... Wild, see us in the wild, and... Yeah. I have yet to meet anybody that I was like, well, that was a mistake. Yeah, me too. It's always been cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've never been stuck... Oh, we were in that airport, though. Oh, yeah, it was you and I walking through Ireland trip. Right. And we hear some guy go, Whiskey trip! <laughs> <laughs> and that was the end of the trip. We were tired. Yeah. yeah and we were yeah. both kind of like, uh... Well, and there's, there's no <laughs> organic... Still, it's Whiskey Channel. Yeah. yeah. There's no organic way to be like, okay, great to meet you. They don't, you know, they don't have a table in the other end of the restaurant. Yeah. It's not the end of a bus trip. You're literally waiting for like an hour and a half. And just standing there. Right. You're like, it's nice to meet you. Right. And then you separate, and then you realize you're both still standing like 30 feet from each other for the next hour. 
Like, this is weird. <laughs> like, well, he, here's the thing. We're famous enough to recognize and right. then be like, I saw these guys. We're not famous enough for them to actually want to hang out <laughs> and have memories. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like, oh, you that guy? It's like, cool. Cool. Now I don't know what to do with well, the rest uh, of this. How do I let go of this without being rude? <laughs> Yeah, because what you, they really want to say is like, okay, that was enough for me. Yeah. I was like, oh, just making sure. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's what I want you guys to do from now on. If you see us like that, you can't figure out an out, just go, and scene. <laughs> That's very good. At the end. That's very good. Uh, pleasantly surprised. I'm going to try and remember the name of Grand Traverse Distillery. Because yeah. you mentioned we Well, so yeah, many. we've had it, yeah. Okay. Here's fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, man, fight for a friend. If you steal, man, you steal your livers. And if you drink, may you drink it.